That was a very hard battle. But we survived and triumphed. And now we got us a small place to stay. But let's go over here to the workshop and get rid of all this stuff we've been carrying. Now, here on Fun Mods, as I stated in prior videos, this channel is dedicated to mods and how they will affect games. So you will see me, or rather you will hear me, talking directly to you, the viewer, as I play my games, especially when a mod is prevalent as it is now. The mod here shows how I can unlock the workshop or upgrade it. If I hit upgrade, as you see there's a number of um, selections here. I can do nothing, leave it um, only as an activation, that's for now. Or I can cancel the upgrade options for this workstation. Or I can put it on delay, which removes the option for 24 um, um, hours in game. But I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it. This allows me to make very large settlements anywhere I find a workshop it comes in very handy I'm gonna go ahead and um, make this able to hold 20 times what it normally would which is what I normally do wow what a flash and with that's done, I can go ahead and transform my goods. And I just store everything that I've gotten so far. That will allow me to be able to build things here at this particular workshop. Also, I can store um, the armors and stuff that I've been gathering from the different people. So I'll probably go ahead and take care of that as well. Now, what I recommend when you um, decide to build a settlement anywhere, and I will be building a settlement here because it's a very good location. And it's already pretty much primed. Is to take the gear you have and transfer it to the chest or any lockers in the area by doing this it will allow anyone that comes to this location to put their stuff here so I just go through and just take off some things that I don't want to carry such as clothing I'm going to keep that gas mask because I can use that but I have metal armor, so I don't really need this leather. So I'll take the leather off. And I just search down through my um, gear for things like this harness. This ragstag outfit. and these wool leathers. Now you're probably thinking, wow, you're taking everything off. In fact, I think I'm going to keep the uh, wool leather. I'm going to get rid of this long underwear and use the wool leathers instead. I found some spike armor. I uh, don't know if it's better than my metal armor, so I'm going to go ahead and search out this. There. I put on the spike armor. It gives me much more protection. Now what I want to do here is I want to start crafting things. The first thing I need to craft is a way to get people to come here. I already appear to have some power, although it's not much. It's still some power. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the workshop as you can see here you can pause the screen and read this here it's just basically telling you what the workshop can be used for 
already know this, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And I'm going to go ahead and start, well, taking everything I can get my little hands on, such as trees. Now, also, I have a mod which allows me to scrap anything in the, uh, in the area. So I can pretty much take everything, even things you normally would not be able to take, such as um, areas like this nearby plants that may be in the area grass pretty much anything so I'm going to go ahead and just scrap all this stuff here need all the trees because I need a lot of wood especially for building things now this area is kind of small, but it still make a nice space, something to have. Outside this green area here, you cannot um, build anything. In fact, if I go out of it, it'll take me out of the uh, workshop if I stay out of it for too long. Right now, I'm just going through and trying to scavenge anything I get my little hands on. It's not much that I can scavenge in this area. I think that's pretty much it. Now I could take everything else that's here and scrap it as well if I wanted to. But I think I'm going to leave it. It's a nice little defensive area. Do I will take these bricks? and those bushes right there since they really wasn't serving any purpose they are just kind of in the way and I think I'll leave this defensive wall kind of a nice touch because without that they got to shoot straight through and that would be very good for us Ah, well, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna leave the um food area here. I think I'm gonna leave these bricks just for the simple reason that they're very good uh, protection from anything that may try to attack us. Take this barrel here and that leaf right there. Take the shrubs. Now I can't take these rocks. As you can see. But I think that's pretty much all I can get in this area here. So that will do. I'm just clearing out any big bushes that's in the area. So I won't have any trouble moving around or being able to see where we're going. Or see anyone coming up to us. checking out this limb that's laying here on the ground trying to see if I want to get rid of the limb or not I don't want to accidentally hit the ground so I get rid of that scrap tree there there we go now I can scrap all this and then put it back up but that would be a bit of a pain I'm gonna bring the um, water over here near the food like so to see if I can get these bushes right here as you notice up there in the um upper right hand corner the size 
it shows you how much you can build in an area and you will not see that move since I made it 20 times the amount Okay, so now that that is done, go ahead and put this, leave it there. So this is kind of like my living room, I suppose you could say. I think I'll go ahead and take these bricks. Just for the simple fact that I will be needing some uh, cement, I believe. And what is this up here, I wonder? As you can see, there's a giant tower here. And I can scrap that. Yes, I can scrap that tower. So before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and come out of the workshop and save. 